Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Got another video for you guys, but before we dive into it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. Let's have a intelligent conversation, give your thoughts, opinions, etc. Right, let's dig into it here. Another article from Bleeping Computer, 7-Eleven stores in Denmark closed due, closed due to a cyber attack. All right. 7-Eleven stores in Denmark shut down today after a cyber attack disrupted stores, payments, and checkout systems throughout the country. And that's pretty very important system that that would be considered a critical system when it comes to 7-Eleven stores as you know that's how they make their money if those systems are disabled then it's kind of hard to make money from like credit cards any other payment cards and it says checkout systems so i'm assuming that even the customers were to pay in cash they wouldn't be able to do it because the checkout systems were down and that's a pretty big deal when all your stores are down in the entire country Let's see here they posted on Facebook about it. I can't read that because I do not know how to read that language, but it translated to the below description here. Unfortunately, we suspect that we have been exposed to a hacker attack today, Monday 8, August 2022. This means that we cannot use checkouts and or receive payment. We are therefore keeping the stores closed until we know the extent. We naturally hope that we can open the stores again soon. So that's, that's a big deal. They can't make money because their systems are shut down critical systems here. Now deleted Reddit post, an alleged 7-Eleven employee in Denmark also confirmed the cyber texting that they were forced to close the store after checkout system stopped working. Right. That's about it of this article, the, the bread and butter. Uh, no details about the attack. They don't know if it's ransomware or they haven't confirmed if it was ransomware or not, but it sounds like it's ransomware. If their critical systems are shut down like that and it shuts down their entire stores in that country i mean it's it's starting to point to ransomware and i wonder how the attackers actually got in if it's from a phishing email or they exploited some kind of vulnerability that wasn't patched or maybe a zero day but hopefully they get everything back up and running but this shows you the importance of critical systems identifying those critical systems the data that those critical systems contain and what those critical systems are connected to what other systems are they connected to in order to do proper incident response and in initiating your disaster recovery plan because of course businesses are about making money that's how they keep operations going if they can't do that then they will lose you know x amount of money while their systems are down that's why it's important to have a proper disaster recovery plan in place a business continuity plan in place you know proper backups etc so be sure you're knowledgeable in those areas and how they operate and make sure you you have an accurate inventory of hardware and software and the systems like what's the business purpose of these systems so you know which systems are critical to your environment and then how to recover those systems and the data on them and that's all i have for you guys be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the like button comment below thank you